Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Jay the Rocket Man. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of Geometry Dash. I decided to just go ahead and show my progress in the game, what I've actually achieved so far. Well, first, let me go ahead and click uh, my character. I actually made it the companion cube out of, um, oh, golly, what's that game? Oh, no, I'm forgetting the game. No. Oh, the companion cube out of... Portal! Out of Portal! Yeah, that's right, I do a quick internet search. I'm sorry, that was a really bad mistake on my part. So I completed number one, number two, number three, number four, and now, oh, and number five, and now I'm on number six, which is Can't Let Go. And might I say, I'm having some quite difficulty on this level as well. I mean, I'm, as you can tell, it's also gotten faster since the previous levels that I did play. Also, I've been having some difficulty on the reverse parts, and whenever I say reverse, it literally inverts the gravity of the game and makes you try to go upside down. Very annoying and very hard to complete. And once again, I still find myself like in disbelief, in disbelief that I can actually play this game while commentating. And see, right there, I would not have made that mistake if I wasn't commentating, see? Mm-hmm, look at me go, man. Once again, I was watching some other YouTubers play this game, as I said in the last episode, and they are playing online. Well, whenever I say online, I mean they're playing user-created... What did I just die from? They were uh, playing user-created levels, and that looks like a fun, interesting thing that I could get into. But then again, I'm really a noob at this game still. Like, I still have a lot to learn. I don't even know, like, all the different types of zones there are. And by zones, I'm talking about the things where you're able to fly the UFO sometimes. And if you still have no idea what I'm talking about, let me show you it. Let me try to get to it in this video. For Christ's sake, hopefully I can actually get there. Maybe, maybe not. Right here was the part I died at last time, so let's see if I can actually get past it this time. My goal, or my, uh, my record on this map was 72 so far, 72 percentile. So maybe I can beat that, maybe not. It was actually on the reverse part. Ah oh, man, this game is still really, really addicting. It actually got rated number one game in Canada. This this type of part, uh, number one or number one mobile platform game in Canada back in like 2013 or 2014, where it first came out. I don't know about it anymore. Right here, it reverses, man. It gets so hard. I didn't even realize not to jump. Like it's so hard right there. Oh. And, you know, all the other missions, all the other levels actually had it as well. I keep calling these things missions, man. I played a ton of, uh, uh, Brothers in Arms today, and I recorded about four or five episodes. Pretty, uh, tired right now. It's sitting at about 11.29 at night. Probably about to go to bed. And, uh, I just wanted to produce this quick video for you guys to show what was being updated. Or, uh, my progress so far. It's gonna be my last attempt before I cut off this recording, so hopefully I can make it pretty far. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully, though, maybe I can actually beat the mission. <laughs> Look at me, calling it a mission again. I meant level. I probably definitely won't beat the level. I haven't even, like, done it in practice mode. I don't even know what's past that reverse part. Or, sorry, the inverted gravity part. And this part, let me try to get that coin. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, I knew I would die. It's hard. It's hard trying to control that whenever you're trying to get certain obstacles like that coin, for example. I called it a medallion in one of my other episodes. I did not mean to call it that. But, regardless, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys another mission that I did. Look, I'm still calling it a mission. Still calling it a mission. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do Stereo Madness. So, I'm going to show you this level that I've already completed. I don't know if I was playing this on my first episode that I put on my channel, Geometry Dash, but look how simple this is. Like, it's so much slower than the previous mission. But I'm going to try to get the last coin on this level. And this is what I'll probably do to end it, so... After I, uh, beat this level, I'll probably end the recording. If I do beat it, you never know, I may actually hit an obstacle or something. God forbid! But, I mean, this game does, does really have, like, stupid mis- Or, not the game, but I will make stupid mistakes all the time. Look at me. Carelessly flying like a cocky, mindful, jit jujitsu master. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I just said mindful jujitsu jiu jujitsu master. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know. <laughs> you guys are probably like sitting there, like, what is he talking about? See, I've already collected that coin. That's why it was highlighted like it was. So maybe I can get the final coin in this without dying. I haven't been able to do it before, so I doubt I'll be able to do it now. But you never know. Ooh, right there it will trip me up sometimes with the three spikes. You have to jump at the proper time. If you don't, you're screwed. All right. So my goal once again is to aim for that third coin. There's where the second one was, and I already got that one, as you guys can tell. Ooh, almost jumped too late on that one. That would have been really, really bad. Uh oh, I'm coming up to it. This is where the third and final coin is. Now look at this crap. No! I was doing it too! No! Oh, I actually never made it that far. Alright, one more attempt. 
one more attempt, unless I crash on this attempt, but, uh, well, no, if I crash on this attempt, this will be my final one. All right, I promise, this will be my, uh, this will be my final one on recording. Or what, about a five minutes into this video, five minutes and 19 seconds in, I took a, ooh, I got really hasty there. Played it real dicey, I took a screen look over at my right monitor while looking, and not looking at my left. While not looking at my left. See, I can't, I can't even talk right whenever I'm playing this game. It's so much focus that has to be put into this. Like, if you mess up one little time, it's like, oop, I have to start the entire level over again. Because, uh, you know, the replay value of this game is definitely there. They did a great job on that, I will admit. Like, you must replay this game to beat it. That's probably why it was one of the most addicting games in Canada. And it still is, to this day, a very addicting. Now, I don't know if how or where it's ranked on the mobile platform now, but you never know. It's probably still up on the top 100, maybe? I remember this game being, like, super popular back in, like, 2015, 2014, whenever it first came out. Like, I had a ton of friends that would play it. But that's besides the fact. It's getting a little bit downgraded now on its popularity right here. Nope, see? Alright, that was my final attempt on Stereo Madness for this recording. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Jay the Rocket Man, and peace out.